<laughs> Joe set himself up as a sort of field marshal. He had actually managed to acquire an, a British Army um, field notebook, which has various entries and lots of torn out pages where presumably messages were sent to various stands around the city. Easter Monday, 1916. GPO occupied in the name of the Republic, shortly after noon, about 12.15 p.m. Republic proclaimed. About one hour later, a detachment of enemy lancers attempted to rush O'Connell Street. They were opposed at the Parnell statue. A small number, described as about 20, succeeded in advancing as far as the GPO. But on our opening fire, they retired in confusion, leaving a, a few casualties. Officer Kelly, I want you and your group to occupy the Dublin Wireless School on the other side of O'Connell Street. You can set up this transmission from there, here. Send out this message and keep sending it. Irish Republic declared in Dublin. Pierce first president. Dublin firmly held and all British attacks have been repulsed. Yes, sir. Fergus Kelly stayed there for days, tapping out the word rising in Dublin, Republic declared. And, and what happened was it was picked up by a Trump steamer in uh, the Atlantic who took the word to America. And that's how the word got out. When the rising began, it is extremely important to note that the GPO was chosen as the headquarters. There are those who have said, from a military point of view, the building was not defendable. However, the salient issue is that it was the centre of the telegraphy system in Ireland. And before the system was wrecked to deny its use to the British, the text of the 1916 proclamation and probably other political declarations were broadcast broadcast specifically to the United States. Well, the reports from the outlying defences seem that they're holding. De Valera and Boland's Mills, South Dublin Union, it's holding. The City Hall, well, we're still trying to get uh, reinforcements there, but I'm confident we'll manage it. Many of the devolved garrisons were chosen with one view only, to delay the approach of British military. Hence the attacks on the rail lines, hence the barricading of the arterial roads into Dublin on the north side, hence the establishment of a garrison in the South Dublin Union and the four courts to impede the progress of various British forces located in the satellite uh, barracks around Dublin, and was always a heavily garrisoned capital city, uh, from getting into the centre of their communications. If they could buy time for three, four, five, six days, they believed there was every chance they would receive the political recognition they desired. The men on the roof have said the Irish Times building has gone up yeah. and the whole street might go up soon. Oh, we've already lost <coughs> Amy Street, Dame Street, Trade. Oh, look at that fire. That's coming down the street. How are we going to protect the building? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be able to hold out a strong assault. I believe. But that kind of shelling just can't go on. Gentlemen, we, 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 may be, we may be able to withhold an assault on the building, but I think it's time for the women and the boys to go. Well, exactly. I think it's time. We now have the first time we have to go to the house, and 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 we have to go to the GPO, and we have to go to the house, and we have to go to the house. Joe was very weak, I think, at this stage. But uh, he, he managed uh, to get through the week, but he was uh, lying on a bed at, at uh, various stages. And uh, again, some of the men, uh, it, was, it was actually Connolly's son said, who's, who's the man, you know, lying down and wearing all the, the jewellery. And Connolly said, that's Joe Plunkett, and he has more courage in his little finger than all the rest was put together, or words to that effect. Nina, we are now in the region of Tinta Air and GPO, and we are the rebel in the and now the Reagan and Tronhonishin. Who is the father of the and Vorig, and the Yarn and the Canary and Kinna, Gene Hadish and Vajin Nargion? The garage in the Yishin, 
scríobh Joe Plunkett a litir dhearnach mar hiúil sé. Saturday, 